Okay guys, welcome to another video. I got a special treat for you today. I am at a legendary hot foods vending machine place uh, here in Japan and we're gonna check out I don't know, a machine that a lot of people have requested that I try, which is this curry machine back here. You may remember from a previous video near Sagamihara, I tried some curry and uh, <laughs> I was not impressed with it. But uh, this particular machine has been featured on a channel called The Great Big Story, I believe. And there's a man, Mr. Oh, what's his name? Yoshimoto, I think? I think. <laughs> Um, who makes his own rice and stocks these machines personally twice a day. Now the, the original story was, is like five years old so I hope he's still around. He's, he's pretty old. He'd probably be about 80 right now but you know I could still see him doing it. Um, nobody's here today obviously. This place is open 24 hours. Not, not a lot of other machines to choose from. There's an udon machine here that uh, is out of order right now, but mostly, yeah, I don't know if you can hear the road bes beside us there, it's pretty loud, but mostly uh, drink, drink machines here. But anyhow, we're gonna check out this machine right here. This is the Bon Curry, the famous Bon Curry machine. So it looks like they have two options. You can get like a regular one. Oh wait, oh no, they're the same. But this, is this one sold out? This machine's so old, it's kind of hard to tell what's going to work and what's not going to work. But, when I got here, there was a guy eating it, so it should, it should work. In the next building over, there's some retro game action as well. But again, nobody's here right now, so let's get some curry. So it costs 300 yen. whether that worked or not. Oh, did you hear that? Something happened. Dude, that was fast. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> there we go, we got our curry. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there's a little counter right here I'm just gonna eat on. Now that came out really fast. Now I heard that this particular machine is different than the other machines that I've tried. In the past, you put your money in and it counts down like two minutes or something like that. Essentially, it's a frozen uh, curry rice and it's going in some sort of system into a microwave. Now this is all tech that's like 50 years old, right? So the microwave doesn't really do a very thorough job, which is kind of, <laughs> which is kind of my main gripe about it. The, the rice was also really dry and nasty and there were chunks of frozen stuff. Anyhow, I'll put a link to that video if you want to see me suffer trying to eat that nasty curry. However, this machine, it's constantly like at a hot temperature. Like, you, you saw it, it just came out. I pushed the button, well, the first one didn't work, <laughs> but the second one, boom, and there it was, right? So, and it's warm. So it's been kept heated this whole time. So hopefully, well, there's no there's no frozen issue at all, so this is going to be better, obviously. But uh, let's see if we can get into this. It's got taped on the bottom. And I like to think that the guy, really old guy in his work van, he maybe he's a regular here who's eating this. So if he knows it's good, it's got to be good, right? So inside we have ah, oh, okay. So the curry is actually in a pouch, like this, and it's got Mr. Yoshimoto, is that his name? So I apologize if, if I'm getting it wrong, but that's his, his own fresh harvested rice in there. Wow, this is really, really nice so far. We got a, a spoon going on in there, and uh, there's the rice, nice and warm. So I guess I'm gonna just add this uh, curry to it, which is also really warm. Um, I've seen sort of packages like this. I don't think he, he has handmade this. This is just like a store-bought curry. 
good until next year in May, which is good. Um, and if you if you heat it up, it's like it can get really hot. So on the back they have a way that you can pour it nicely. So I'm just gonna open this up. It's not it's not super hot, but it is hot. So there we go. Woo. Okay, got my spoon on standby. Actually, I think I should should maybe. I don't know, scoot some of this rice over to the side to make a proper pool. I should have probably done this before I opened it, right? So the thing about curry rice, you know, it could, it could be personal preference or not, but my golden ratio is, uh, you don't want 50-50. You don't want half curry, half rice. My golden ratio is maybe like 30% rice and 70% roux. But I think we've got the, uh, the quality rice here. It looks really good. And we're just gonna add this right here. Okay. So yeah, it's not quite my golden ratio. Oops, I guess, well, I can't show you because it'll spill. I apologize. You Use your imagination, it went, it went in here. Get as much of that out of there as possible. Woo, it's like squeezing a a tube of curry flavored toothpaste. All right. I don't know, it's a, it's a little liquidy. Uh, I don't want to tip it too much, but you get the idea. You can kind of see what's going on there. There's a, a pool of, of roux right there. So let's get into this itadakimasu. It doesn't seem <laughs> like it's a very watery kind of consistency. It doesn't seem to have chunks of meat. Well, maybe a few flecks. But uh, yeah, so the way to eat it, just grab some rice, dip it in your curry, and here we go. Mmm, that's good. Okay, faith, faith restored, vending machine curry. But I mean, on a rating scale, if I were to, if I were to give this a 10, based on it came out of a vending machine and it's hot and it's fresh, the previous one I had would probably be like a one or a two. This is really good. It's not super spicy at all. I mean, it's a Japanese curry. It's like a beef curry, but it's not super spicy at all. It's just sort of middle of the road. Really good. Three hundred yen, right? There you go. I'll try to give you a better angle. I'm worried. It's you're on a window ledge right now. I'm worried you're gonna fall. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing. So some people in the previous video, because of the the frozen bits and stuff, people were suggesting that I stir it. The thing is, that's not really the way you're supposed to eat curry rice. You're meant to grab some rice and some roux together like that, not to mix it all. But I understand their intent. It's really good. Okay, gochiso samadeshita. All right, that was really good curry. 300 yen, amazing. The only catch is you can you can only get it here, and we are in Tokushima right now. So it's quite a trek depending, well, unless you're in Tokushima, I suppose. But uh, definitely worth it. As far as vending machine curries are concerned, this is definitely the best that I've ever tried. So highly recommended. So thank you to Mr. Yoshimoto for stocking this machine. Very delicious curry. But let's uh, quickly look and see what else is here. I'm sure you guys are curious. They got two King's Treasure Machines here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. I know Eric sometimes does these. It's, you know, a thousand yen is like 10 bucks or something, but you can potentially get something worth more than 10. And it rarely ever happens. You usually get weird little bangles or, you know, a hat with, I don't know, a flower on it or I don't know. But, um, okay, they got some old school cup noodle. Uh, these are all sold out though snack machine here it doesn't have uh, 
I'm getting a good reflection. I apologize, but it doesn't have old snacks. It's got some new snacks inside there. And then, well, this one's empty. <laughs> and here is the udon and soba machine, which I, it's got to be out of order the way they just sort of take that up there, right? But, uh, okay, this is a newer machine. You can get some coffee, some tea, that kind of stuff, cocoa. Here's some standard vending machines, uh, new stuff. Okay, this one, it's got a few drinks. It's sort of like a health-minded, you know, we've got our Picari sweats um, and our, what, ion water stuff. But it's also got Calorie Mate and Soy Joy like a protein bar kind of thing and over here we got some more drinks we can find these pretty much anywhere in Japan same with these yeah I can imagine people just stop by here just to grab a drink they're not always after the curry like I am and you can see we got some more Picari sweat and stuff like that drinks 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 lots of coffee here and here's an old retro coke machine actually you know, I don't know, is it, does it work? I'm really not sure. I, I would expect to see the drinks here, but, uh, okay. So maybe it's sold out, well, I don't know. And here's another modern machine. And what's this? A chewing gum machine. Okay, you don't see those, wait, wait, wait. And then at the end here, there is a work glove machine. It's a work gloves with like a rubber, rubberized palm. <laughs> Okay, I guess, you know, you're working out in the field, working at gloves, well, now you know. So this whole row is all what we just looked at. And you can see, you can see it says game in Katakana, game center, coin, and snacks. For 24 hours it's open, obviously, no one's here. Okay, so let's check out a few of the games in here. Okay, this place looks like it's only open for midnight. You know, I wouldn't film in here if there was anyone here, but nobody's in here. So, we got some, like, Mahjong kind of games. Half of them aren't even turned on. Some Pachinko-style games. Lucky, Lucky Train. <laughs> These are all very retro kind of games, so... I don't know, who... who would come here and play these, but you know, I guess some people say, "Hey, let's go hang out at the at the arcade." <laughs> so yeah, all these old style games. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if you recognize them at all. I don't. You can get a massage while you're here, at least. Play some. Oh no, that's uh, shogi. Play, play some Japanese chess with your buddies here. Okay, so that's it. I don't know if you thought this was kind of cool. A little trip down memory lane. All these sort of retro food machines and game centers. They're kind of very similar. Um, I'm just kind of lucky there's nobody here. I can sort of wander freely. And I just want to say a big thumbs up to the curry today. It was really good. If you're in this area, if you're ever in this area, please come and check it out. You won't be disappointed. Very fresh rice, very delicious curry. So I just want to say thanks for watching everybody. If you're new here, please subscribe. And don't forget to thumb up this video and ring that dinner bell so you don't miss the next video. And thanks for watching.